Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. Today we're going to dive into task 7 of sector 14. So what you initially face when you get this uh, sector is the solution, uh, this, the test cases. So you get in an A, which is true, AA is true, four A's is true, CB is false. So uh, what I did is my well-known standard approach, just saying, okay, I add the test cases that are false in hope to generate some more test output, um, which actually uh, worked, but quite slow, you have to generate one more line for one more test case. So it's just uh, a hassle to create yet another one and yet another one and yet another one. And um, I did this for quite a while and generate a lot of test cases, but it did not really help me because I would always get these um, pairs of two characters to different characters that would return uh, or expect false as a result. So I put them some thought into it and my first idea was that um, I just have to check that the first half of the string is like the second half of the string, so the first character is like the second character. So um, uh, I did an implementation of that, but I'm not going to repeat that now because uh, it takes quite some time and uh, not the solution to the task. So what I re realized at some point is that this is actually supposed to be a palindrome check. So it's not that the first half is, is the same, but the first character should be the same as the last, the second the same as the, as the third in this case. And if there's an, an odd number of course, the middle element is, is a free choice, so it's, there's no comparison. So what we do, or what I did for the implementation, is say, okay, we start from uh, zero, go to half of the length, divide it by two, round it down because the middle character is not to be touched, walk over all of these, and check if... Um, if s dot char at i equals I think I can do equals four characters, can I? Um, s dot char at um, s dot length minus one minus i because length is one more than the last index, so I have to do the minus one and the minus i to get the uh, the right thing. If those are equal, uh, let's do it the other way around. If those are not equal, I'm going to return false. Otherwise, I'm going to return true. So this should be a palindrome check. Uh, compare the first against the last, the second against the second last, the third against the third last, and so on, depending on the length of the string. So as you can see, this uh, both solves the task and satisfies the skill rating. So we're done with this pretty easy one. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.